driving back here to uh, put a T-post in the ground to mark the boundary line of the uh, property. We're right here in the middle of a cornfield. That's not our property, but all these beans out here are. And all that's gonna get sowed in pasture. But they've been farming this as one field. This year I have them separate the type of crops at least that were in it, which is soybeans and uh, field corn. So right here's a survey marker, which they've out have hit a little bit already. We're gonna drive a T-post in here and paint it white so when they come through with the combine here in a few days, they don't take out our survey marker. So I'm anxious to get fences built, get our, our lines set. Part of building a farm. We drove that T-post in the ground just off from that marker. And that's just so when they come through with the combine, the tractors, that they, uh, they can see the line and not take out my survey marker. Right, we gotta go down here to the other end and do it. Man, I can't wait to get that sowed in pasture. Man, think about all the beef cows. Pasture chickens. It's the beginnings of a lot of hard work, but also at the end of a whole lot of hard work in getting to this point. be able to even have the ability to purchase and own this place so we've come a long ways and we got a long ways to go all right Hayden's down here waiting on me we're gonna drive a post in the ground paint it white and get on to the next job for the day got a lot to cram in a Saturday Did you find it oh, I see it all right. Check out that too. I don't know what that is. All right. That's ours. All right. The first thing we'll do is knock all these wheat down a little bit. That'll help them see it. This is the old marker, but it ain't been holding up very well. Put a T post in, it'll stay a lot better. Tip, hold it upside down. All right, we're white. Let's go. We got it. Sorry. Mission accomplished. 